we can't be a prisoner to the number three. It is possible that there are going to be three players who specifically separate themselves from everybody else. But it's also very possible that that does not occur. And we need to be careful to not just be like, oh yeah, like we love the number three. So let's just, let's just keep talking about the number three as if there needs to be a big three all the time. On the women's tour right now, it's it's actually happened that way. Sabalenka, Rybakina, Sviantek, tier one, nobody else in that tier. Nobody else on their level this year. So it has been a big three. And obviously that's been tossed around like, oh, there's a new big three on the on the women's side. I would not say that anything of that sort has developed on the men's side. And I would not be confident that it will at any point. So I think in terms of the big three, it's got a nice ring to it. And it, it existed in, you know, the last era of men's tennis. Let's not force it. 